over. We swallowed up a whole express train. Unicorn will not know what happened. Doctor, I have our new prisoner here. Good. And I will handle the interrogation. We already know you're a Suzuki, chief of the Unicorn Organization branch in Kyoto. And you're the only witness to our swallowing the train. How do you like that? Oh, no. You killed all those passengers. In order to capture me? Humans wouldn't do that. No, they don't. And it's a good thing. Since Gargoyles do. And so a train and all its passengers just vanished from the face of the earth. But Suzuki, sir, did he just disappear? Mm, Unicorn has planned a world conference. Kyoto was the location and Mr. Suzuki was in charge. Commander, there's something strange about this. There sure is. They caused that train to vanish, just so that they could get Suzuki. Then Gargoyle must have done it. Hmm, so that means Gargoyle knew we'd been planning to hold this meeting, although it was secret. It means we must tighten security. I'm certain they will take much more action against us. We must take action. I am sending you two to Kyoto immediately. your orders and they are in code. Your orders are to decipher the code and proceed accordingly just prior to the session. Hi. <laughs> is it true the world unicorn is going to hold a meeting? Yes. Where will it be? Kyoto. Where in Kyoto? I don't know. You don't? You must know that. I'm sorry. They won't stop me. I'll show you in a corner exactly how I operate. Good news. Doctor, we now know just where their headquarters are. Good. That does it. Be easy now. We're going to go get them. You, get him ready for surgery. Right. Unicorn, let us start this session with a moment of prayer for our friend Suzuki. With me. Who's there? Suzuki! It's our chief. Wonderful. Good to see you. I want to talk to you. You will sit down. Sure, sure. 
Listen, you three, Tokyo. I want to know all the details on this conference that we're going to hold. You know that it's all confidential information. I can't tell you anything right now. So, don't you trust me? I must see the coded orders that are in that briefcase. I'm handling the plans. Hold a summit meeting. I can release these documents only on the commander's order. So, I don't like it. Where are you both staying in Kyoto? Royal Hotel, room 414. Oh, sir. It's really you, sir. It's good to see you. We thought you were dead. Papa! I'm so glad. Go to bed. It's getting late. Papa! Papa! Mr. Suzuki! Sir! I don't get it. I think my papa is sick. Dr. Botanus. Do you know where they are sleeping? 414, and it's the Oyo Hotel. Oh, your hotel. Who is he talking to? He said room 414. I wonder who's in there. Better check it. Right. There's no bugs. It looks like it's safe enough in here. I wonder about that man. Suzuki, I mean. Yes. That's why I told him where we're staying. It's possible they got control over him. I'm not taking chances. No, we can't. Then it looks like sure trouble tonight. Mm. You seven. What is that? Must be a room mistake. I'm sure there's no mistake, sir. <laughs> oh. Drop the guns. <laughs> <laughs> I just came to get this case. Just what I want. You get this. <laughs> contained only this. What? That is not exactly what you wanted, Ted, Doctor. I'll be sorry about this, I assure you. They embarrassed me. They won't get away with that. I'll send Lagori into action again. You mean your papa's acting strangely? Yes, he looked like papa this man. He wasn't nice like Papa. Honest. What happened? Tell us. I don't know. He wasn't Papa. Not my Papa. What are you doing here at this hour? Suzuki, you're acting suspiciously, sir. 
We must make sure you're our man. That's nonsense. Absolutely stupid. Why, you know I'm Suzuki, don't you? I'm sorry, Rika here says you're not her papa, not at all. Hmm? You must come with us to headquarters. Why should I? <coughs> Hey, taxi! All right, get in. We're on the wrong road. What? Now, stop the car. Do as I say. I'm warning you. Oh, right! Ah. He's been transmogulated. Just like me, his mind is under control. He underwent an operation the same as I did. Our bodies are not like yours at all. We are under gargoyle control. Gargoyle? Communicator, send a call to... I'll try. Commander, you seven must be trying to mobilize giant robot. What? You know what you're saying? Oh, yes, sir. No question about it. It was too weak to activate the robot. You five, you're sure that it was a radio wave from U7 that you picked up? Yes, I'm positive. But that means that... Mr. Mono! You three! Hey, Johnny! Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> so you are awake, unicorns. You are directly under Lake Biwa. Now, how do you like that? <laughs> Dr. Bartonis! Thank you. How nice you remember my name. How long you live now depends entirely on me. Ah. Now then. I want you to see this. Once the needle on this instrument starts to move, you will have five minutes to live. Five minutes. Watch it. Once it starts, it will not stop. Now, do I get those documents? No. Do whatever you want. No matter what you do, you won't get what you want. Oh, that's too bad. You will die. <laughs> he meant it. So, I'm not going to be beaten, that's all. You call Giant Robot and quick. But I can't do it. Well, I'll fix that. Commander, the hotel room, sir. The attaché case with the documents was there. That's good. And what about our agents? I'm sure that they're nearby. No, sir. I'm sorry. But, but they disappeared. Well, continue the search. We have an army out there. Kyoto was loaded with agents. Tell them all to get busy. I... The time is going by. Four more minutes. We will attack them in Kyoto and wipe them out. I'm going to break up that unicorn gathering there by force. Okay, I'm ready. Go. 